How's it going YouTube? Wesker Griff coming back with a mail day recap video. Got some stuff to show you guys. Got one TTM that came in that took about a year, almost a year. Also got two pickups from eBay and one trade with a fellow YouTuber. So nothing too major that's uh, come in recently. But I will say that I haven't been as active as I would like to be here on YouTube. Uh, I've just been busy and with the summertime. So I'm really back on a lot of people's videos. I've been trying to catch up in the last couple of days to check videos out. Uh, but I'm going to try to make a bigger effort to do that. Next week I'm actually going on vacation. So I'll be going to uh, Otakon uh, that I go to every year. This is my 10th year uh, going to Otakon and the 20th year for the convention. So I don't know if any YouTubers here go to Otakon. But that would be pretty cool uh, to see if I see anyone there. But... Let's get into my mail day. Uh, first, like I said, this first TTM is coming from Chicago, Illinois. And I did send to quite a number of White Sox and Cubs. So I was really excited to see who this was. It was an older return envelope. But this took 300, 359 days. And it's coming back from White Sox pitcher John Danks. Signed Aaron Blue Sharpie on a 2012 Tops. So nice to see this come back. Sent this out exactly almost a year ago. Sent it back on August 8th. So took a couple days less than a year. But still happy that uh, John Danks uh, signed my stuff and sent it back. So that was really cool. And then I did make a trade with a fellow YouTuber. I made a trade with Aaron, who's uh, ASMongus97. Sent me a little note card here. He put Eddie... Thanks again for another deal. I know I didn't ship the best way, but hopefully nothing got damaged. If so, I will give you a, re a refund. God bless. YouTube AS Magnus 97 PS. The extra autos were obtained at different Tides games. AS Magnus 97 101. And Aaron, no big deal. Um, it was kind of weird because I told him I would ship out my package on Monday. And what happened was I didn't have any bubble mail. So I actually... I we tra I traded him an Orioles postcard for an Orioles card autograph, and we both actually sent him PWEs. Uh, but we made so many deals together that uh, we know each other, and it it's fine doing that. So uh, no big deal at all, Aaron. And um, thanks, man, for another trade. And uh, this is what I traded for this uh, nice Luke Scott uh, auto that I'm pretty sure I think he got TTM. But I traded him one of my Al Bunbury postcards for this. So that's cool. Luke Scott does sign TTM, but he's kind of hit or miss, to be honest with you. And he takes a really long time to uh, sign fan mail. I think it takes like two to three years to get them. So happy to add this uh, to the Orioles PC. And he sent some pretty cool extras. Uh, this is of Richard Zagoin. This one is of John Link. And this one's a Brandon Wood. So thank you very much, Aaron, for the extras. Guys, please check him out. AS minus 97, really awesome YouTuber. Like I said, I probably made like seven to eight deals with him. He's just a really awesome guy and awesome YouTuber to get to know. And then next, I got two pickups from eBay. Going to go over these real quick. One's for my Flyers PC. This is... Out of Panini Limited Hockey 2012-2013, numbered 43 out of 99, cloth auto of Chris Pronger. So the big Flyers um, logo there, and then the signature in blue Sharpie, and then the number is right there on the corner. So really nice to add his autograph. And then I picked this up. I picked this up about two and a half weeks ago uh, before he made his major league debut. So happy to get this. This is a first Bowman Chrome auto auto card, not numbered to base auto of Jared Cozart, who was the pitcher the Phillies traded for Hunter Pence, who essentially the Phillies traded for Tommy Joseph because the Phillies did not retain the rights of Hunter Pence and traded him for Tommy Joseph. So essentially the Phillies traded him for Tommy Joseph. So, 
He's uh, he's starting off really good with Houston Jericho's art, so I'll be interested to follow his career. So I figured I'd pick up his autograph before it goes crazy. The Matt Harvey rule. That's like a new rule that I've established. It's called the Matt Harvey rule. It's if a prospect comes up and I think he's going to do good, I just buy, I just pony up the money to buy their autograph because that happened with me with Matt Harvey. Uh, I thought he was going to be really, really solid and I passed on a bunch of his autographs that were really cheap at the time and now his stuff is just insane. So I call it the Matt Harvey rule whenever I pick up a prospect card to avoid that disaster again. So thanks guys for watching. Take care. Uh, leave any comments or questions and let me know what's up. So take care guys.